What's going on? Tectonic Edge here, playing some Mono Green Tron. Gonna try and get through a whole league here, so it's be another long one. Got the die roll nice. Let's see the first opening hand and Devil Logan, no land. Yep. Mulligan. One Tron land. Uh, not gonna do it, but let's hope for two in the next one. You know, let's see if we can go zero, one, two. Nope, not even two lands. All right, we'll keep going. Uh, I guess we're going to three. I'm kind of glad we went to three. I wish this would have been the four, but we are definitely keeping the two Tron lands. And who? Uh, do we gamble on getting a color source? Or on the draw to get a... Yeah, we're going to gamble on the one that gives us the extra draw. Expedition map would have been nice, but we will see what we can do. Tron can recover from here. All we have to do is either draw a power plant or draw some more search. Uh, Sylvan Scrying off the top two would be very nice. All right. Looking like a control deck, so yeah, this will be rough. Well, that guarantees us Tron in turn four. And that guarantees us Tron turn three. All we got to do is find uh, something to play with it. We can still get there. Gemstone mine. All right. Interesting. Combo deck. Noted. We really need something good this turn, so come on, Karn. Hmm. Well, we may as well play the Blast Zone. And threaten their mana source. If they don't just have it this turn. I think this is going to be ad nauseum and they may just have us. Nope. All right. Double Sylvan Scrying. They are digging deep. They do have three mana left. Thoughtseize is ineffective here, but they do know we now have Tron. Yep, they're just going to use the Pentad Prism. choices there. All right, let's see what we draw. All this dust will be nice later. We'll go ahead and take the opportunity to get rid of that Pintad Prism. Actually, that will let us get a threat for the turn after next, because we can get a Sanctum of Ugin. That 
actually, uh, that's a choice. I did a uh, little bit of misplay on my part. Mm, I guess we'll just go for the creature. Um, Should have. Yeah, we'll just get the Thrag Tusk out. They could have a counter spell, but it's gonna cost them. Though they are very close to the combo, if memory serves. All right, there's the Phyrexian Unlife. That is pretty powerful, but they're gonna pass the turn back to us. Take the opportunity to get in for five. And let's all this dust. It'll cost them a land and a pentad prism to counter this. Interesting. Okay, so they're just gonna go for it. Yeah, they yeah, they probably still have us here. Have the angel's grace. They don't lose to the pact of negation. And we keep playing. All right. the Oblivion Stone, see if they have another counter. If they don't, we're in a decent spot. They do have another Pact, so they're going to have to pretty much do the same trick again. Do we want the Sanctum? Uh, no, I think we just want the tower in case we happen to get the big threat. Angel's graced again. They've got two turns now, or I need to find an answer for Phyrexian Unlife. We're going to be digging pretty hard for an answer to that. All right, swing five. Ancient Stirrings. Take the Kozilek. And they're going to scoop the Kozilek. 
Nice, we managed to get there. A mold of three against the combo deck. That is rare for a Tron deck. Combo is tricky for us to beat. We're gonna take in these nature's claims. And uh, they may not be in, uh, what is this? It's Spoils of the Vault, Angel's Grace, Phyrexian on Life. Is it an ad nauseum deck or is it something else? I think this is an ad nauseum deck. What was the kill mechanism for an ad nauseum deck? It's been a while. Karn is good for activated abilities. I feel like we don't really need the Thrag Tusk. We may change it up in the next game. Maybe Veil of Summer. Uh, well, maybe next game. Nature's Claim was definitely the big one to get in there. Yeah, Veil of Summer protects our stuff, which is not bad. But we have to get to that point first. If they ramp out fast enough, at, at that game, they really lost to themselves and that had there been uh, their combo and not tried to counter us. Ooh, uh, well, two Tron lands, but no search and only one draw, but we do have two draws on top of this. And I like the blast sound. So we are on the draw instead of the play. Oh, it's a bad idea, but I'm going to keep. It's not Tron. It's not really what you're supposed to be doing. But Blast Zone does help out. They, and they do have Thoughtseize. So the worst they can take is our Chromatic. But they're likely taking one of our threats. So it'll be Chromatic Star, more likely Ugin or Ulamog. Ugin, all right. That is the one that can answer the most of their cards. All right, extra power plant. All right, Temple of Enlightenment, decent. Okay, they're just gonna dig out all our threats, so there goes Ulamog. We get the Karn, may as well crack for green, because we have a forest otherwise. Can't really do anything there. So I think setting Blast Zone up to two is the best move. Yep. And hope they don't just have it next turn. Nature's Claim would be a good draw. Oh, do we try it? Yeah, I think we have to. It's going to be a turn too slow, but... Attacking their mana just seems good. Ah, they're just going for it. Alright, so they, yeah, they win with Thassa's Oracle. I wonder if we were to destroy it in response to the trigger. Because then the devotion would technically be less. 
Uh, it's worth a test run, I think. Everything else, uh, do we leave in the sideboard? Yeah, we'll leave everything else in the sideboard. All right, we have Tron plus things to do with it. That looks pretty good. I don't have high hopes that we'll keep the Ugin. But we'll see. Five mana looks like to be what they need to get to. Karn Great Creator would not be bad if we can get it out. Because again, it can cut down their mana. A few more threats would not have been bad, but I'm not going to complain about Tron. Hopefully we can get a sideboard card. Oop, yep, Lotus Bloom. Three turns, noted. All right, just drawing Tron is nice. Second Lotus Broom. Can't do anything about Lotus Bloom with Blast Zone. Take a nurturing peatland. That is what we want, Congregate Creator. And we may as well run out another expedition map. They have a Thought Seize here, that'll be rough. they don't, I think we're in a good spot. Technically, they don't know we have Tron yet, either. They could try holding up a counter spell. Ooh, Phyrexian on life. All right, well, we're just going to try and be as harmful as possible here. And grab a Trinisphere. Make some chews here. Are they gonna pay the three? Nope, and it's exiled. I guess I'll leave that right there. Kind of off screen, but. Boop, boop. I 
That's a pretty good draw. Uh, is that what we want to go for? Yeah, we'll go for the Alice does. And they're going to scoop to that. All right. Nice manage to get there. Let's go to game two. Getting in there against the combo deck was definitely, eh, I guess, it, if they, they do need to find the cap combo, if they lose to themselves. And Congrate Creator is great against anything that runs against artifacts. So I think we would have lost had we not had Congrate Creator. Uh, Trindisphere definitely helped as well. And the plan from there would have been, yeah, get rid of that and start eating lands the next turn. We would have gotten, taken them down to two mana. It's definitely weaker if you're running a creature build of Tron. Uh, just, you don't have as many answers. Karn Liberated is nice, but they can sometimes get around just exiling one thing a turn if they have enough cards. All right, we got the dice roll. Going to play first, and let's see what we get. All right, we're up against a Lurus deck, so that means aggro usually, occasionally boggles, uh, probably red, black. Uh... Yeah, this is easily a mulligan, though. Into a keep. We're going to do the Sanctum because I like being able to play the Thrag Test turn three. This is likely a prowess build. And being on the play is going to be big for the program. Get out that expedition map. Wait to see what we're up against. Yep, uh, red, black, and prowess likely. Could be Death Shadow. Beaumont Carrier. Okay, that's probably Death Shadow, right? Extra Power Plant. Depending on what they do this next turn, I may be tempted to play Congrate Creator uh, and shut down Beaumont Carrier. We'll grab a mine. This guy is minus the highest life total among players. So yeah, Thrag Tusk will be big here. Uh, which which option do we want to go for? If they have a lightning bolt, that'd be pretty big for them. So we're probably just going to go for the Thrag Tusk, much as I'd like to shut down the Beaumont Carrier. Are you likely swing, then sack? We've got double Karn, or a life total is looking good. Ooh, dismember. Definitely Death Shadow. All right, this O Stone uh, seems like it's going to do us a lot of good here. Tapping out uh, instead of holding up the Beaumont Carrier. Or not. 
know why use the Oblivion Stone when we can just be mana efficient. We're outside of bolt range. They have three cards in hand. We're in a good spot. Mishra's Bobble. Ooh, Kroxa. Yeah, they can have an O-Stone. Ugin's nice, but I think I like Khan here better. I can start eating away at their lands. Um, what do we want? Okay, yeah, we were going to take away both the red sources. It was going to be a rough game from there. Death Shadow. I feel like we're pretty set up to handle them. The one thing we could bring in would be the dismembers. And they're not always the most helpful. Whether the storm could do some interesting things. Maybe one weather the storm will pull the Kozlek and go for a dismember and I like my board wipes. Mm, I should, mm, yeah, we'll give it a shot. I should shouldn't have split the difference. I should have gone one or the other, but we'll see what happens. We have a storm, just a bunch of life. It can kill out that extra you know, power minus uh, the highest life total guy if we get the right opportunity. They're going to have Thoughtseize, but they are the red-black variant, so we don't have to worry about counter spells, which is nice. All right, we'll just wait for our opponent to figure out if they're keeping, I guess. Or we were playing first. Any second now. There we go. One Tron land. Oh, yep, yep, we need two. Got a mulligan. Yep, there's the two. Got to keep. Choices. I like having backup Tron, so we'll get rid of one of the chromatics. And thought sees. Inquisition. So if they have a second Inquisition, we're in a bit of trouble. Um, yep, okay, they take the Expedition map. That could be indicating that they have a second Inquisition. There's the weather, the storm. Do we at least get to get out the Chromatic Star? Or a Thought Seize. Monastery Swift Sphere. Yep, Thought Seize. So they are able to take both our ways to assemble Tron. Mm -hmm. 
and that gives us choices. Let's see what we draw. Power plant would be nice. Mm. Uh, yeah, we just need to go for Tron here. And hope they don't have artifact destruction. So we hold up Weather the Storm to buy time. Another Thoughtseize? Nope, a Beaumont Carrier. Okay, this may be a Death Shadow. Backup Tron land. And we'll pass turn. Ooh, which option do we give them? Yeah, we'll, we'll let them choose whichever they want. Okay. They just kept Antitron the hand. Actually, Blast Zone might have been a better grab there. Um, what do we want to grab? Snaring Bridge. I don't actually think we're going to play it, but we're going to... Or we may play it. That is a 6-6. Six, six. That's a pretty good card. gamble here. They have artifact destruction. They may sacrifice the Beaumont carrier after this attack. Wow. And we're just dead. I mean, I don't think I even could have played around that. They just had everything. They were scared of the weather the storm, so I'm going to make the decision here to go full weather the storm. But yeah. 
That was a hard hand to, to come back from. They needed doubles of a lot of things, and they had it. Oh. I'm going to keep this because of Blast Zone and put Oblivion Stone on the bottom. Because Blast Zone, they really don't have a way to deal with. And do I go slow? I might go slow here. Oof. Do we take the thing that gets us to Tron? Yes, I think we do, right? Yeah. We're going to try and build towards Tron here. All right, there's a Beaumont carrier. They're going to start rebuilding their hand. Little bit of chip damage. Decent draw there. Okay, they have a cleansing wildfire here. Ooh, that's yep. Thankfully, we're going to have a decent answer before that gets too big, or we just draw into Tron. Alright, well, we play like we don't have it. And if they cleansing wildfire... It's just going to be rough. I'm tempted to grab something else, but we'll grab a mine. See what it goes for end of turn here. Um, likely has an end of turn move. It's just a matter of what it is. Don't we need? Yeah, we'll give him the extra mine. Oh, I should have blown the O-Stone. Yeah, that's my bad. That was the opportunity, and I missed it. Well, we're limiting them to three cards. Yeah, that was a misplay on my part. Hmm. 
interesting choices. Oh, they just let it, okay. We'll take the Sundering Titan. I should have played the Expedition map. That's my bad. Sack that. We get no Lamog. Yeah, you gotta get rid of my forest. Unfortunate, but. Do we try and protect the Karn? I think we do. Right? Yeah. We got backup tower in hand. Best card they can draw will be Thoughtseize, but I think we're in a really good spot. Getting rid of the red mana sources is definitely big. Zero cards in hand. No way to sacrifice Beaumont Carrier. They let the other one go, which... Probably a misplay on their part there. I get the feeling they were trying to bait me the first time with... They gave me the option to get rid of it because I knew they weren't planning on keeping it. Um, it still probably would have been correct for me to get, have gotten rid of it there, but it worked out. Because, yeah, they had a handful of um, hasty creatures to play out, so they would have just gotten a little more damage in. And I guess it would have... Eh. No, they had one of these in hand. They wouldn't have the other. The other. Uh, no, they probably would have done exactly what they did. And got the Death Shadow out. Taking a big moment on the upkeep to figure out what they're doing. I think they're trying to figure out if they have any draw in the deck that can save them from this. They can get rid of my Expedition map with a Fatal Push um, and lets them get one damage in on Karn. But that Ulamog is going to be what really... Yeah, I don't think they can recover if I get the Ulamog out. They can't destroy a land because they don't have the mana to do it. Which I imagine, this probably does not come up very often against this matchup. They are not used to people going after their lands. Ordinarily I wouldn't, but I saw the opportunity. 
That and I was afraid they would have the answer to Karn, so I wanted something playable that would trigger there. And it was, yeah, literally my only option to go get the Ulamog. That's my reasoning for the Sundering Titan. Or we could just be sitting here. Well, while we're sitting here, uh, where'd I put it? Be right back. Open this. Let my cat in here. He wants to come in. Say hi. Is he still waiting? Oh, there we go. And it's a scoop. So they, yeah, they were trying to figure out if they had a draw, and they didn't get... I guess they did figure a draw that would help them. They just didn't find it. Um, so what I wanted to show you real quick, see if it shows up on the camera. I got some something shiny for my Tron deck that I played in this matchup. So got the Japanese Weather the Storm. The foiling is not as bad as I was expecting it to be. It's only 10 bucks on eBay, so I figured... Yeah, why not? I, I really like when they do the Japanese ones. Like, they just they they always do better a better job with the art. We'll get started waiting for the next round here. And I was a little worried it would start to curl or be curled by the time it got here. But for the moment, it's straight. Uh, it's a little on the dark side. And I was talking with a friend. Apparently, um, the for like he thinks the foiling that ends up straighter is when it does turn out to be a little darker. But yeah. It's a pretty looking card. I know you, it's in a little small bubble on the side of the screen, but I usually don't pick pick up a foil version of a card. And, but Japanese art, especially not for a sideboard card too. All right, got the die roll. Nice. Let's see an opening hand with all three Tron lands. Well, not all three, but it is Tron, so we are going to keep that. Oh, against an Obosh deck. Bad news is that probably means land destruction. But it's been a while since I've seen an Obosh build. Yep, red. Soul Scar, Soul Scar Mage. All right. So prowess then? Mono red prowess or red black? No, red. Eh, I guess it could be mono red, but it could be red black as well. So yeah, that Thrag Tusk looks uh, pretty castable. Do they reveal a second color? No. They get a second Soul Scar Mage. And a Fork Bolt. All right, we'll go grab the mine. That's pretty nice. Does have flashback. Okay, yeah, this is just a prowess build. I 
one do I think is better? So my options are here. Yeah, I think I like that better because we have the Karn, so. We can go for the Ulamog next turn. Yeah, we'll just limit their options here. And then we'll go for the Blast Zone Car Big Karn next turn. Have an answer for Congregate Creator then? Yeah, they may have a Lightning Bolt. That does seem to be the plan. Lightning Bolt the Karn. We'll take out the Seasoned Pyromancer here. Get rid of the Soul Scar Mages next turn. They only get one spell this turn, so we're taking four, six. Oh yeah, no, we were we were in a good spot. Game two, we just want to bring in some life gain and potentially some, hmm. I'm torn on the dismembers. On the one side, yeah, we get rid of the Kozilek, who's a little big. If we bring in the dismembers, they might help us, they might not. Eh, no, we'll leave them out for now. Just go for the weather of the storms. We have a decent amount of life gain, and that typically is what helps us in this matchup. Mana symbol. I've played this guy before. It's funny, uh, you start playing enough and you eventually run into the same names multiple times. Actually, I wonder. Nope, can't keep it. We got a mulligan. Uh, same issue. Got to have the strong lands. I really shouldn't. But weather the storm is really big for this matchup. This is dumb. This is dumb. So we really need to land. I 
I'm feeling much more comfortable about this hand right now. That is a really good spot to be in. We do need to find a threat now, but we have turned three Tron into a weather the storm. And that's going to be pretty nice as well. It'll be a good turn next turn for him, though. Stomp and Skull Scar Mage are probably going to be the plays. Or Blood Moon. That is a thing they can do. Bush to hand. They are down to two cards. All right, that forces my hand a bit. At this point, a forest. We're going to get there. We just have to live long enough to get there. Here's Obosh to hands for double damage. Would not mind an Oblivion Stone off the top. Players can't gain life. All right, so we need a worm coil or a yeah something off the top. We need an oblivion. Yeah. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten damage. Yeah. Your turns on that combo, Raging Ferocidon, Blood Moon. Yeah, that's pretty powerful. We're going to concede to that. Uh, 
Yep, that definitely brings in the nature's claims. What do we cut? Bigger stuff. Honestly, an Ugin and another Khan, I think. We're just going to rely more on our creatures and congregate creator. Going to play first, and what do we have? We really need turn three Tron here. Nope, that does not do it. But that will. Choices. Gonna put the Oblivion Stone and hope to draw into something. Because if, if we can get another green source that enables the Thrag Touch, with this, which is nice. Nature's claim would be nice. They have early artifact destruction. That's our worst case scenario. Nature's claim for a potential blood moon. This will be a keep. Putting the oblivion stone to the bottom. Although it would have been useful last game, I feel like eh, we'd rather have everything else. And we really want another color source. Kept seven, but it looks like they spent a minute considering it. So maybe they didn't find an answer, but just kept a really good hand. Track for green, hopefully with another chromatic. Nope. Sylvan scrying. Take the tower. And hope we find a green source. Just an aggro hand. Come on, threader green source. Well, that's unfortunate. Yep, this is now the worst case scenario. We found neither green source nor threat. Well, we found a threat. I guess tower now becomes a viable card. We're going to stop. We're going to take six. We have more live cards now, which is nice. I'll take an expedition map. All right. That's nice. That was a good draw. We had a lot of live draws. Expedition map could clear their board. Green uh, mint forest or any green source would have enabled Thrag Tusk, Karn, or any other big threat. We did cut a lot of threats or things that require green sources. But yeah, they need artifact destruction here, or we're in a really good spot. Ferocidon would be pretty bad right now, though. I 
think we blocked the Soul Scar Mage if he attacks. Now, with Worm Crow being our only threat out right now, they don't look like they drew another land. Alright, they're just going to try and limit the amount of life I can gain. We take the trade. Because three life is pretty powerful. It's going to be end up being a net neutral turn for us. We're still hoping to draw something good here. That's rough. All right, well, we can't leave ourselves at three at the beginning, so we do need to attack. Last zone doesn't do them too much good. We really just need a green source. As soon as we have a green source, we are in a very good spot, uh, but we're in a rough spot till we do. They may actually be able to fight through this one coral engine. Blast zone would be good. Green source would be good. Dead draws do we have? I guess worst case scenario, they lightning bolt the death touch worm. Blast zone actually works out pretty well for us because they're not going to have a colorless one drop spell. Double Lava Dart would hurt. Oop, Fork Bolt. All right, come on, green source. Well, it's not a green source, but it does say you have no more red sources. And they're gonna scoop to that, nice.
All right, that's three games in a row. Very nice. We'll go to game four. See if we can keep this up. That's pretty tricky matchups for Tron, but not unwinnable. Uh, combo, I think, would have been the worst of it. We have a lot more man or life gain than we used to, so prowess builds. Prowess builds are never as big of an issue as just a pure burn deck. Because just we life gain helps, creatures help, and board wipes help a lot more with the prowess matchup. I wouldn't say it's a good matchup for us, but it's better than... Well, it's, it's not the worst matchup for us now, but it's better than just a pure li uh, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Although life gain, if you get that out, tends to be the big decider. You also have to get the life gain. This one, a board wipe, can do just as much good. The Death Shadow deck, I feel like our win percentage has gone up against that since they stopped playing blue. Uh, they're more aggro as well, so creatures help, big things help, and they've got less answers for us. Unless they have all the answers, but that guy took a lot. It took a lot of answers for him to beat us that game. Lost the dyro. All right. Can we get good Tron hand? Almost. Missing a color source. But I will take Tron in hand. We will. Cut down one Kozilek. I prefer him in the deck just in case. And we'll keep the Sylvan Scrying. That is a windswept here. This is going to be Boggles. Arbor Elf. Not Boggles. But a bit of a mana ramp deck. So worth noting there. Oh, I know what this is going to be. This is going to be Helliod Life. Or, or not. I may have called it too soon. But this is feeling very Helliod Life-esque. Okay. Yeah, this is Halyard Life. This is a very good... Oh, yeah, they have us. Or not, uh, we still might have a chance. That sacrifice ability makes it very tough. Those Ranger Captain of Eos is pretty much say, you can't, yep. Cast spells. Like that. Well, we at least get a playable. It's not the worst. But if they draw the combo, we are still in a rough spot. They may not have uh, four mana, potentially five mana. That unfortunately is the combo. Now 
now they need a mana to make it work, right? Uh, so I think that does buy us a turn. Oop. Don't want those notifications coming up. A land here would be very big. Oh, yep, yeah, that's that's gonna be game. Blast zone to the rescue. Definitely want the dismembers for this matchup. Definitely want the nature's claims. Oblivion Stone, mm, big guy, no. Karn helps us. Mm. Actually, no, Thrag Test don't do as much. We'll take the Nature's Claims over the Thrag Test. Why not like that? Maybe we should... Yeah. I'll bring the O stone back in for game three, but it's a little rough uh, on the draw. Extra Tron land to the bottom. Yeah, extra Tron land to the bottom. This having Tron is nice though. Decent mana ramp out on their part. The O stone's gonna be a little on the slow side. This could just be the turn three Helliard though. Okay, um, sure. They get the collected company. Depending on what they get will determine our move next turn. best options here. They can swing three at Karn. I kind of like Sundering Titan though. If they have a way to answer our planeswalker, we may just be dead, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. 
If not, I'm thinking we wipe out their lands. They can't kill us with a combo this turn. Although they could gain infinite life, which does make this trickier. Okay, so they do have infinite life. Okay. Tower or Sanctum? You know what? Forest. Could have had infinite life. Um, do we have anything worth trying to protect here? No, I think we just wipe them out this turn. Still not in a good spot. Kinda wish, oh, dismember's not bad. Next turn, eh, should I have done that differently? Probably. We'll hold up the dismember for a turn. And they're going to scoop to that. All right, nice. So, the, yeah, we would have fought through the combo. All his dust would have been big. Cool. Oh, awesome. There's 4-0 four zero, four zero so far. <laughs> Let's get into this last game. This has been a very good league. And if you guys are still watching at this point, let me know. Uh, let's say something funny. Uh, let me think for half a second. Say, let's make, let's say that Piffing Needle came in big. I don't think I played Piffing Needle once this game, but just comment down below. Man, that Piffing Needle was timely. I didn't think about playing Piffing Needle that game. Could have carned Piffing Needle just to guarantee they weren't going to have the combo. Uh, but that's one of those decks that they can go for the combo. Or they can, they have one that's multiple combos, so you can only shut down the insta kill combo. You can't really shut down the infinite life. 
It's a good thing they didn't go for the infinite life because Ulamog would have been about our only way to kill him at that point. Although infinite life and MTGO takes a while. If you're in paper and you can establish an infinite loop, it lets you just skip it. Here you actually have to go through the process, so you really have to watch your time. I guess if we got our big threats out, we could do decent damage. Join match. All right. Well, Jack here is definitely nimble and quick. So let's see if we can, because he got the play too. Yeah, let's see if we can find a better hand than this. Nope, we need two Tron lands. That's one less than we had previously. Come on, double Tron land. Nope. Okay, we're off to a rough start. We've already come back from 1-3 before. We'll see if we can do it again. And we are up against Auntie's Hobble Goblins. Interesting. Not the Tron land we need, but it'll help. Combo Goblins. This has been a very effective Combo Goblins deck then. If they are four, four wins as well. Three mana. They could just go aggro though. Technically four mana with the Goblin War Mantra. All right, that's decent. Crack for green, Sylvan Scry. All right, Veil vale Summer. Uh, no, not Veil vale Summer. Oh, we get Tron. All right, that's gonna be pretty big. So he got a Goblin Caretaker. That's pretty rough actually. do we want? What gives us our best chance? Destroy target colors and line name program for a goblin. But it cost one. expensive card that we're going to have to grab. Do we A, Pithing Needle? We're losing the con, so we can shut down any potential combos. Either we gamble with Trinosphere. They can stack Goblin, so we're going to go for Pithing Needle. I really want to name 
conspicuous snoop there, but can't. So we just are gonna we're gonna be on top decks. Although we kind of have been on top decks this whole game, so nothing new there. Again, if they have the conspicuous snoop combo, we're just in trouble. Munitions expert is going to hurt. So we, uh, we could get into a timely all is dust. That'd be nice. Well, that did not go quite the way I was hoping it would. That'll be decent, provided they don't just kill us next turn. A lot of cards that can kill us. What can we do? They've got us up a creek pretty hard here. Are we dead on board? We're dead on board. All right, fine. We can ensnaring bridge, but then he kills us with siege gang lieutenant. Is dust. Uh, it doesn't do anything because we've already played a land this turn, right? Yep. I think they have us, but. gonna play like they don't just in case no we're just dead
a lot of munitions experts. It's weird. Yep, there's a Siege King Lieutenant. All right, what do we want for this matchup? This member seem very good. Creatures seem good. Big cards seem less helpful here. It's weird because it's a combination combo deck slash aggro deck. We can beat it. Uh, we just, we need the right hand if they're going for combo, and we need the right hand if they're going for aggro. Dismember is a good answer for both, because it can take out the big guys, or the important guys. Uh, we need more than a th three land keep, though. They did a good job of spreading uh, the creatures out, too. Just uh, Blast Zone would never take out a big chunk of them all at once. I guess two. Pro if I did play a Blast Zone, two would be the best number for it. Con Liberated feels a little on the rougher side just because they have so many cards that just really don't, um, like, well, getting rid of one card is rough. We want to kind of do more than that. Karn, had we got him out a little bit earlier, I think would have been a much better for us. We kind of played a little on the defensive side with him because of that. Maybe going for... Could they be bringing in Blood Moon? They could be bringing in Blood Room, but I don't really want the Nature's Complaints without knowing they're bringing in Blood Moon. So we'll go assume they're bringing in Blood Moon, but not sideboard for it, because I'm not sure what I would pull out at this point. Maybe going for a bigger threat, like uh, I did try and skirt the needle between trying to protect against the combo and the big play, so Sundering Titan might have been the move. Nope, that's not Tron. We need Tron, like that. That is Tron. Keep this. I'm going to pitch the Sylvan Scrying because we have the Expedition Map. They could have an answer for it, but I like having the Thrag Tusk up with the Chromatic. Artifact Destruction here would be our the worst case scenario. Oh, Aether Vial. Next turn feels like it's going to be very effective. Yeah, no, just shutting down the Aether Vial seems the correct move. I want to hold up Dismember. I should have tapped better, honestly. 
Uh, they could have could could have been holding lightning bolt as well. So they would have easily wanted to get rid of the card. We're going to use the dismember to our advantage. Over, yep, yeah, that works. Did forget they'd have three mana this turn. So that, yeah, was a waste. I should have grabbed something. What do we get? Uh, land would be very nice. Another Kong would be nice. Well, if that's going to be the case. You know what? We're double shutting those down. Or, uh, oh, we know he's a blow. Okay. Um, hmm. Oh, he's got a Blood Moon on top. I didn't register that fast enough. Yep. Set, shut down the combo. We'll take an ensnaring bridge here. Yep. That's an unfortunate top deck. And they get a goblin with haste. That's also unfortunate because we have two cards in hand. Mm -hmm. 
Because that guy is still alive. And is he? All right. Last zone's a dead card. Yep. Yep. Goblin Trash Master, yep. We've lost this. Timely Blood Moon. What could I have done differently there? Uh, not much at that point. Even had I, if I had an Atreus claim this game, I don't think it would have done me any good. I guess I could have pithing needle naming Aether Vial would have been better. Or they just have a Kiki Jiki. We're just dead this turn. They played the aggro game. It's hard to defend against both the combo and the aggro. Yep. All right, well, they, yeah, let's go ahead and open these. I uh, got five, so not bad. All right, free fan elect. Pack number two. Opposition agent, blinding angel. Uh, cool art on the opposition agent, but no, not the best hits. I'm always, I'm more looking for the point values. Want to get those free games in. 20 points, nice, and an evacuation. Five points. Uh, all right, last one. Knock on wood, crossing fingers, hopes for something good. And nope. All right. Well, thank you for watching. If you got any comments or thoughts, leave them below. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video and you're still watching to hear me talk, consider liking and subscribing to the channel for more content. Tectonic Edge here, signing out.